so you'll see in some of the videos I do in some and in some places you'll see that when we are creating a variable which I've done here called my var equals 100 and I'm in the main section and I'm printing value for sending my var to function 1 plus string version of my var and then I have one my var so I'm calling the function here and I'm passing my var now this practice while it's allowed is really confusing the reason that it's confusing is because these are not not the same variable a variable is a named location in memory you want to think of it as a post office box you can point to a specific post office box you know the number of your post office box and different things can be put into it each day that you can take out of it but you aren't going to go when you're looking at your post post office box and accidentally pull something from somebody else's post office box so what happens when we are sending this variable we aren't sending the we are not pointing to its location in memory if we did that that would be passing by reference the closer way to do that if we want to have something where we're changing the same spot in memory we should be using a global variable here we're making a copy a copy of this variable we're taking a copy of the contents and we're sending a, co a copy of the contents into here so we now have a second variable in a new location with the same name again that's a second copy of the variable it's not the same variable it's a copy but it has the same name that's why it gets confusing so it can be helpful because we're thinking about the contents there it's the same contents copy of the same contents so we're thinking that we're dealing with the same thing but you need to know that it's not the same variable because here I'm printing the parameter initial value equals plus the string my error and then I'm adding to the local variable this one local this means it's in scope it's the active variable this variable when I'm here is out of scope this variable is in scope this is the active variable when I add 200 to it and I print it you're going to see that this one changes but when I return my logic at the end of this returns back to the next line after it was called and you'll see it will print the variable for function 1 so here we have value before sending my variable function 1 it's 100 that's what I declared it as that should be very clear here I'm in the function I've got my parameter initial value we copied the contents of my variable so right now these two should be identical and they are now I'm changing my local copy in uh, function 1 we're adding 200 to it and then we're printing that value after it's been modified it's now 300 so the variable in this function is 300 but when I return my logic to this line after the function when I've made changes to this copy of the original variable they are no longer the same they are separate variables that happen to have the same name so be careful it's actually in my opinion clearer to give this a new variable name it'll work exactly the same it still gets a copy but then you know you know that they are not the same variable so be careful in naming your functions this is allowed but it can be unclear